Welcome back to Bible Quizzes. We have 80 questions for you guys today, so let's get started. One, which of these is a fruit of the Holy Spirit? Honesty, patience, forgiveness, or mercy? Patience, Galatians 5, 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. 2. Who is anointed with the Holy Spirit and power? Paul, John the Baptist, Jesus, or Peter? Jesus, Acts 10.38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with them. 3. In which city were the disciples waiting for the Holy Spirit? Bethlehem, Jericho, Jerusalem, or Nazareth? Jerusalem, Acts 1, 4-5, And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which, he said, you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. 4. What did the crowd say when mocking the disciples on the day of Pentecost? They're drunk, they're mad, they're wise, or they're sick. They're drunk. Acts 2.13, others mocking said, they are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, raised his voice and said to them, Men of Judah and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and heed my words. 5. Around what hour of the day was the Holy Spirit poured on the apostles? Sixth hour, ninth hour, third hour, or tenth hour? Third hour, Acts 2.15, for these are not drunk as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. 6. Whose prophecy did Peter say was fulfilled by the infilling of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost? Isaiah, Amos, David, or Joel? Joel, Acts 2, 16-17, But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see visions. 7. What did the angel restrict Samson's mother from taking while pregnant? Wine, honey, meat, or fish? Wine. Judges 13.4 Now therefore, please be careful not to drink wine or similar drink, and to not to eat anything unclean, for behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. 8. Through what did the angel ascend to heaven after talking to Manoah? Cloud, fire, smoke, or wind? Fire. Judges 13.20, it happened as a flame went up toward heaven from the altar. The angel of the Lord ascended in the flame of the altar. When Manoah and his wife saw this, they fell on their faces to the ground. 9. Which judge of Israel destroyed Baal's altar at night? Samuel, Jephthah, Gideon, or Deborah? Gideon, Judges 6, 25-27, Take your father's young bull, the second bull of seven years old, and tear down the altar of Baal. So Gideon, because he feared his father's household and the men of the city too much to do it by day, he did it by night. 10. What tribe was Gideon from? Dan, Ephraim, Judah, or Manasseh? Manasseh, Judges 6.15, So he said to him, O my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. 11. Elkanah was from which place? Mizpah, Ramathaim, Zophim, Shiloh, or Bethel? Ramathaim. 
Ramathaim Zophim, 1 Samuel 1 1. Now there was a certain man of Ramathaim Zophim of the mountains of Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah. 12. How was Moses' eyesight in old age? Weak, blind, not dim, or sick? Not dim. Deuteronomy 34 7. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes were not dim, nor his natural vigor diminished. 13. Which tree did Jesus curse? Almond tree, fig tree, olive tree, or sycamore tree? Fig tree, Mark 11, 13 to 14. And seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he would find something on it. In response, Jesus said to it, Let no one eat fruit from you ever again. 14. Which prophet asked the widow of Zarephath for bread? Elisha, Isaiah, Jeremiah, or Elijah? Elijah, 1 Kings 17, 10 through 11. So he, Elijah, arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, indeed a widow was there gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Please bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. 15. Which chapter of Acts narrates the pouring of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost? Acts 2, Acts 1, Acts 3, or Acts 4? Acts 2, Acts 2, 1 through 4. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. 16. What did Moses prophesy, saying God would raise in Israel that people would listen to? A king, judge, prophet, or priest? The prophet, Deuteronomy 18.15, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst. From your brethren, him you shall hear. 17. Diana was a goddess of which people group? Galatians, Ephesians, Babylonians, or Philistines? Ephesians, Acts 19.34-35, But when they found out that he was a Jew, all with one voice cried out for about two hours, Great is Diana of the Ephesians, and when the city clerk had quieted the crowd. 18. Who is known as the father of many nations? Abraham, Genesis 17.5, No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. 19. What did Job sit on while in mourning? Ashes, dust, stones, or rags? Ashes, Job 2.8, and he took for himself a potsherd with which to scrape himself while he sat in the midst of the ashes. 20. Who among Abraham's relatives had started the journey to the promised land before him? Nahor, Terah, Lot, or Haran? Terah, Genesis 11:31. And Terah took his son Abram and his grandson Lot, the son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son Abram's wife, and they went out with them from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to the land of Canaan. 21. What disaster killed Job's children? Fire, rain, earthquake, or wind? Wind. Job 1, 18 and 19. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house, and suddenly a great wind came from across the wilderness and struck the house. 22. Which jawbone did Samson use to kill 1,000 Philistines? Lion, donkey, ox, or camel? Donkey. Judges 15.15. 15. He found a fresh jawbone of a donkey, reached out his hand and took it, and killed a thousand men with it. 23. Where did Samson take the gates of Gaza to? Zion, Timnah, Hebron, or Zorah?
Hebron, Judges 16.3, and Samson took hold of the doors of the gate of the city and the two gate posts, pulled them up, bar and all, put them on his shoulders, and carried them to the top of the hill that faces Hebron. 24. Who did David play the harp for? Saul, Samuel, Jonathan, or Nathan? Saul, 1 Samuel 16, 23, and so it was, whenever the Spirit from God was upon Saul, that David would take a harp and play it with his hand, then Saul would become refreshed and well, and the distressing spirit would depart from him. 25. Who among these had a Greek father, Timothy, Luke, Titus, or Barnabas? Timothy, Acts 16.1, Then he came to Derbe and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a certain Jewish woman who believed, but his father was Greek. 26. Who was the priest that Samuel lived with in the temple? Nathan, Hopni, Phineas, or Eli? Eli, 1 Samuel 1, 24-25, Now when she had weaned him, she took him up with her, with three bowls and one ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and brought him to the house of the Lord in Shiloh. Then they slaughtered a bull and brought the child to Eli. 27. What did Eli think of Hannah while she was praying? She was sick, she was drunk, she was joyful, or she was weeping. She was drunk. 1 Samuel 1, 13-14. Now Hannah spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she was drunk. So Eli said to her, How long will you be drunk? Put your wine away from you. 28. How many sisters did Samuel have? 5, 3, 2, or 7? Two, 1 Samuel 2.21 And the Lord visited Hannah, so that she conceived and bore three sons and two daughters. Meanwhile, the child Samuel grew before the Lord. 29. Who was Hannah's co-wife? Penina, 1 Samuel 1, 2, and he had two wives. The name of one was Hannah and the name of the other Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. 30. Who is Ruth's mother-in-law? Deborah, Rahab, Naomi, or Miriam? Naomi, Ruth 1, 3-4. Then Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left, and her two sons. Now they took wives of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other Ruth. 31. Who had five husbands? Mary Magdalene, Martha, the Samaritan woman, or Joanna? 17 woman John 4 17 18 the Samaritan woman answered and said I have no husband Jesus said to her you have well said I have no husband for you have had five husbands and the one whom you now have is not your husband 32 what did the Samaritan woman perceive Jesus as prophet teacher Messiah or healer Prophet John 4.19 The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. 33. How many stones did the Israelites pick while they crossed the Jordan? 10, 12, 6, or 4? Joshua 4.3 Take for yourselves twelve stones from here, out of the midst of the Jordan, from the place where the priest's feet stood firm. You shall carry them over with you and leave them in the lodging place where you lodge tonight. 34. Which tribe in Israel pronounced Shibboleth as Sibboleth? Judah, Dan, Benjamin, or Ephraim? Ephraim Judges 12.6, Then they would say to him, Say Shibboleth, and he would say Sibboleth. 
for he could not pronounce it right. Then they would take him and kill him. There fell at the time 42,000 Ephraimites. 35. Which judge had 30 sons who rode on 30 donkeys? Jer, Tola, Gideon, or Samson? Jer, Judges 10, 3-4. After him arose Jer, a Gileadite, and he judged Israel 22 years. Now he had 30 sons who rode on 30 donkeys. They also had 30 towns, which are called Havith Jer to this day, which are in the land of Gilead. 36. Whom did God say the Israelites had rejected by asking for a king? Samuel, Saul, Samuel's sons, or God? God, 1 Samuel 8, 7, And the Lord said to Samuel, Heed the voice of the people in all that they say to you, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. 37. What was known about Samuel's sons? They were just, they were corrupt, they were prophets, or they were thieves. They were corrupt. 1 Samuel 8, 3, But his sons did not walk in his ways. They turned aside after dishonest gain, took bribes, and perverted justice. 38. Whose sons slept with the woman who came to the tabernacle door? Samuel, Eli, Saul, or David? Eli, 1 Samuel 2.22, now Eli was very old and he heard everything his sons did to all Israel, and how they lay with the women who were assembled at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. 39. Which category of Levites were not allowed to serve as priests? Blind, lame, marred face, or all of the above? All of the above, Leviticus 21, 17, 18. Speak to Aaron, saying, No man of your descendants in succeeding generations who has any defect may approach to offer the bread of his God, a man blind or lame, who has a marred face or any limb too long. 40. Which of the following was a sacrifice offered voluntarily? Atonement, sin offering, trespass offering, or burnt offering? Burnt Offering Leviticus 1.3 If his offering is a burnt sacrifice of the herd, let him offer a male without blemish. He shall offer it of his own free will at the door of the tabernacle of meeting before the Lord. 41. How was the skin of the burnt offering disposed of? Burned, buried, given to the priest, or thrown away? Given to the priest, Leviticus 7, 8, and the priest who offers anyone's burnt offering, that priest shall have for himself the skin of the burnt offering which he has offered. 42. For what did the priest use the laver? Burning incense, washing hands, offering prayers, or eating? Washing hands, Exodus 30, 18 and 19. You shall also make a laver of bronze with its base also of bronze for washing. You shall put it between the tabernacle of meeting and the altar, and you shall put water in it. You shall put water in it, for Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet. 43. What material did Moses use to make the serpent in the wilderness? Bronze, silver, wood, or gold? Bronze, Numbers 21.9, So Moses made a bronze serpent and put it on a pole, and so it was, if a serpent had bitten anyone, when he looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. 44. What material did Aaron use to make the calf the Israelites worshipped? Bronze, clay, silver, or gold? Gold, Exodus 32.4, and he received the gold from their hand, and he fashioned it with an engraving tool, and made a molded calf. Then they said, This is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. 
45. What did God provide the Israelites to eat in the wilderness? Quail and manna, Exodus 16, 13-15. So it was that quails came up at evening and covered the camp, and in the morning there on the surface of the wilderness was a small round substance, and Moses said to them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. 46. How long did Moses stay on the mountain while waiting for the commandments? 7 days, 10 days, 40 days, or 30 days? Forty days. Exodus 24:18. So Moses went into the midst of the cloud and went up into the mountain. And Moses was on the mountain forty days and forty nights. Forty-seven. Who inherited Naaman's leprosy? Elisha, Gehazi, Jehu, or Uzziah? Gehazi, 2 Kings 5.27 Therefore the leprosy of Naaman shall cling to you and your descendants forever, and he, Gehazi, went out from his presence leprous as white as snow. 48. What did Jezebel take from Naboth? His house, his gold, his cattle, or his vineyard? 1 Kings 21, 15-16 And it came to pass when Jezebel heard that Naboth was stoned and was dead, that Jezebel said to Ahab, Arise, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite, which he refused to give you for money. 49. How long did Queen Athaliah reign over Israel? Six years, one year, five years, or three years? Six years, 2 Kings 11.3, so he was hidden with her in the house of the Lord for six years, while Athaliah reigned over the land. 50. What did the Ananias and Sapphira sell? Land, jewelry, cattle, or house? 5 1 but a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira his wife sold a possession but Peter said Ananias why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the price of the land for yourself 51 which animals hair was used to make the curtains of the tabernacle camel sheep horse or goat 26.7 You shall also make curtains of goat's hair to be a tent over the tabernacle. 52. How many golden rats did the Philistines return the Ark of the Covenant with? 3, 10, 5, or 12. 5. 1 Samuel 6.4 Then they said, What is the trespass offering which we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden tumors and five golden rats, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines. 53. How many foxes did Samson use to burn the fields of the Philistines? 1,000, 100, 200, or 300? 300. Judges 15.4 Then Samson went and caught 300 foxes, and he took torches, turned the fox tails to tail, and put a torch between each pair of tails. 54. What was the color of the rope that Rahab used to let the spies down the window? 55. Scarlet Joshua 2.18 Unless, when we come into the land, you bind this line of scarlet cord in the window through which you let us down. 55. How many spies did Rahab hide in her house? 12, 4, 12, or 2? 2. Joshua 2, 3-4 So the king of Jericho sent to Rahab, saying, Bring out the men who have come to you, who have entered your house, for they have come to search out all the country. Then the woman took the two men and hid them. 56. What did Dorcas give to the widows? Clothes, money, food, or shelter? 
clothes. Acts 9.39 Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room, and all the widows stood by him weeping, showing the tunics and garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. 57 Who was Hosea's harlotry wife? Jezreel, Gomer, Zillah, or Deborah? Gomer, Hosea 1, 2 through 3. The Lord said to Hosea, Go take yourself a wife of harlotry and children of harlotry, for the land has committed great harlotry by departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer the daughter of Diblaim. 58. How many times does the psalmist say a righteous man can fall? 7, 8, 10, or 3. Seven. Proverbs 24.16 For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall by calamity. 59. Whom does the book of James say was a man like us but prayed earnestly? Moses, Daniel, Elijah, or David? 517 Elijah was a man with nature like ours and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months 60 how many rams did God instruct Job's friends to offer as burnt offerings 10 7 3 or 2 7. Job 42.8 Now therefore take for yourselves seven bulls and seven rams. Go to my servant Job and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering, and my servant Job shall pray for you, for I will accept him, lest I deal with you according to your folly. 61. How many friends came to comfort Job in his misery? 10, 3, 2, or 4. 3. Job 2.11 Now when Job's three friends heard of all his adversity that had come upon him, each one came from his own place, Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Namathite. 62. What did God give wisdom to build the tabernacle in the wilderness? Bezalel, Aaron, Joshua, or Caleb? 3. Exodus 31, 2-3. See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. 63. What was the name of Moses' wife? Miriam, Deborah, Zipporah, or Leah? 221 Then Moses was content to live with the man, and he gave Zipporah his daughter to Moses. 64. What was the occupation of the prophet Amos? Farmer, priest, fisherman, or shepherd? 714 Then Amos answered and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor was I a son of a prophet, but I was a sheep breeder and a tender of a sycamore fruit. 65. What was the name of the field bought with Judas' betrayal money? Golgotha, Gethsemane, Ekeldama, or Olives? 119, and it became known to all those dwelling in Jerusalem, so that field is called in their own language Ekeldama, that is, field of blood. 66. How many people were saved on Noah's Ark? 5, 4, 8, or 7. 8. Genesis 7.13 On the very same day, Noah and Noah's sons Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them entered the ark. 67. What was the occupation of Matthew before he followed Jesus? Fisherman, tax collector, carpenter, or farmer? 
Tax Collector, Matthew 9.9 As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax office. 68 Who asked Jesus to remember him when he came into his kingdom? Peter, James, John, or the thief on the cross? The thief on the cross, Luke 23, 42-43, Then he, the thief on the cross, said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. 69. Who recognized Jesus as the Messiah when he was presented at the temple as a baby? Lazarus, John the Baptist, Simeon, or Anna? Simeon, Luke 2, 25-26, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. 70. What name did Mary call Jesus when she saw him after the resurrection? Teacher, Rabbani, Lord, or Rabbi? 20, John 20.16 Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabbani, which is to say, teacher. 71. What had Mary mistaken Jesus for after his resurrection? A fisherman, gardener, angel, or traveler? 20, John 20.15 Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me when you have laid him, and I will take him away. 72. Who fell asleep during Paul's long preaching and fell out of a window? Eutychus, Timothy, Elymas, or Damas? Eutychus, Acts 29, and in a window sat a certain young man named Eutychus, who was sinking into a deep sleep. He was overcome by sleep, and as Paul continued speaking, he fell down from the third story and was taken up dead. 73. Whom did Paul say he handed over to the devil? Elymas, Phygelus, Hymenius, or Damas? Hymenius, 1 Timothy 1.20, of whom are Hymenius and Alexander, whom I delivered to Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. 74. What did Jesus ask Peter three times after his resurrection? Are you faithful? Do you love me? Are you ready? Or will you follow me? 21:17. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him a third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. Do you, you know that I love you? 75. How many disciples were on the road to Emmaus when Jesus appeared to them? 12, 2, 10, or 3? 2. Luke 24.13 Now behold, two of them were traveling that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was seven miles from Jerusalem. 76. What did Gideon use to test God? A sword, staff, fleece of wool, or a rock? 7. A fleece of wool. Judges 6.37 Look, I shall put a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece only, and it is dry on all the ground, then I shall know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said. 77. How many days did the Israelites march around Jericho? 7 days, 6 days, 1 day, or 3 days? 7 days, Joshua 6, 4, and 7 priests shall bear 7 trumpets of ram's horns before the ark, but the 7th day you shall march around the city 7 times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. 78, what was the source of Samson's strength? His diet, his training, his hair, or his weapons? 
his hair. Judges 16, 17, that he told her all his heart and said to her, No razor has ever come upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If I am shaven, then my strength will leave me, and I shall become weak. 79, which animal did Balaam ride when he was confronted by an angel? Horse, mule, camel, or donkey? donkey. Numbers 22, 21 to 22. So Balaam rose in the morning, saddled his donkey, and went with the princes of Moab. Then God's anger was aroused because he went. And the angel of the Lord took his stand in the way as an adversary against him. And 80. What did God use to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Floods, hailstones, brimstone and fire, or acid? Brimstone and fire. Genesis 19.24. Then the Lord rained brimstone and fire on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. That's all our questions today. Put your scores down below and share this with your friends and family. Then we'll see you guys in the next one.